Question 1. What is a characteristic of all living organisms? I remember this by using the mnemonic Mrs. Nurk. So M is for movement, respiration, sensitivity, nutrition, excretion, reproduction, and growth. So the answer is D. Next question, the table shows a section of DNA taken from four different organisms. Which two organisms are the most distantly related to each other? Distantly related, they would have different base sequence. So we are looking for the one that have the most difference. W and X, this is different. Five for W and Z. One, two, three for X and Y. Three and for X and Z. One, two, three, four. Four. So the one with the most difference is W and X. So the answer is A. Next question. Scientists discover a new species of animal. It has a segmented body with two pairs of legs on each segment. To which group of animals does this new species belong? The answer would be... Myriapods. Myriapods. Segmented body with two pairs of legs on each segment. Myriapods, the uh, body consists of many segments and each segment has jointed legs. And it's not arachnids, arachnids have four pairs of legs. And the segments are cephalothorax and the abdomen. Well, oh, there's three pairs here, one pair here, so it can't be arachnid. It's not crustacea, not insects, because we have odd pairs of legs, so we definitely can't have two pairs of legs on each segment. So next question, the diagram shows a single single cell organisms called euglena, which labeled structures would also be found in an animal cell. An animal cell wouldn't have chloroplasts, and it doesn't have large permanent vacuole. Instead, it has a small vacuole. So they would have nucleus, cytoplasm, cell membrane. And so the answer would be C. Next question. The diagram shows some of the blood vessels and other structures in the human body. The blood vessels shown are all parts of the same, same organ system. So you have the cell... Then you have the organ, eh, you have the cell, then you got the tissue, organ, and the organ system. So what is an organ system? An organ system is a group of organs with related functions. Working together to perform body functions. So the answer would be C, and this seems to be the this seems to be the cardiovascular system since you have the heart and all of the blood vessels coming in and away from the heart through and away from the heart next question a photograph shows a plant cell nucleus measuring 2 mm across if the magnification of the cell is 500 what is the actual size of the nucleus magnification equals to image size over actual size 
so magnification is 500 image size is 2 millimeter and so the actual size would be 0 0.004 millimeter which is B next question by which process do oxygen and carbon dioxide move between cells and capillaries move between cells and capillary this is gas exchange so the answer will be B diffusion next question which process is involved in the uptake of glucose by the epithelial cells of kidney tubules this is an example of active transport an active transport is the movement of particles through a cell membrane from region of lower concentration to a region of higher concentration using energy from respiration requires energy another example of active transport would be the ion uptake by root has next question which element is found in proteins but not carbohydrates carbohydrates have carbon hydrogen and oxygen for proteins carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and sulfur so it is C carbohydrates do have carbon do have hydrogen do have oxygen so the answer is C next question the diagram shows a short section of a single strand of DNA which strand of DNA will combine with this strand to form part of a double helix so adenine is complementary to thymine guanine is complementary to cytosine this is something that you need to know and hence A would bind to T C would bind to G G A so the answer is D next question starch is digested by amylase in the mouth but it is not digested in the stomach what is the reason for this so you do know that the stomach is extremely acidic because of hydrochloric acid so what is hydrochloric acid does is that it will denature the enzymes in harmful microorganisms in food And also, it will also give the op give optimum pH for pepsin activity. So the answer would be B. The pH in the stomach is not suitable for the amylase to work. The optimum pH for amylase is around pH seven. So the stomach would actually be too acidic for amylase to work. Next question: Which statement? describes a catalyst a catalyst would speed up the rate of reaction so can be a can be b and it also it is also not changed by the reaction so the answer for question 12 would be d next question a plant with striped leaves was kept in bright lights for six hours a leaf was taken from the plant and the chlorophyll was removed double leaf was then tested for starch using iodine solution which diagram shows the result of the test so uh, this area over here photosynthesis can occur since there's chlorophyll to absorb light so if photosynthesis can occur starch will be produced hence it will show a positive result while over here there's no chlorophyll so it can't absorb any sunlight, no photosynthesis. So no starch is produced. So we show a negative result. A positive result would be from yellow brown, which is the color of the iodine solution, to blue black. So the answer would be A. Next question, the graph shows daily carbon dioxide uptake and transpiration by the plant Agave Americana. The plant is adapted to live in very dry conditions. What can be concluded from this graph? So I think um, around this to this would be the light areas, light periods. 
so the answer would be B more well, stomata are closed during light periods since as you can see there's lower carbon dioxide uptake meaning that there's lesser gas exchange and there's also lesser transpiration lesser loss of water vapor and it's all because the stomata well, more stomata are closed Next question, statements 1 to 4 describe stages in the development of cholera. What is the correct sequence of the four stages? Cholera is caused by bacteria. So uh, this would be first, then the chloride ions are secreted into the gut, and osmosis causes water to move into the gut, the infected person become dehydrated, then they will have like diarrhea and also loss of salts from blood so the answer would be 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 which is C next question what are the products when proteins are broken down proteins are broken down to amino acid using the enzyme with the enzyme protease the answer will be A fatty acids and glycerol lipids lipids will break down to fatty acids and glycerol and this seems to be starch so the answer for question 16 is A Next question, the diagram shows part of a cross-section of a root. So the first one would be the root hair cell, since it is elongated. So it can be A, can be D. And 3 would be the xylem. It's extremely big. And 2 would be the root cortex cell. So the answer would be a B. Next question. The diagram shows an onion plant that has been grown from a seed. Each onion plant takes two years to flower and produce more seeds. What is the onion bud acting as in stage 3 and in stage 6? So a sink. What is a sink? A sink is a the regions of storage or the regions where they are used then source is the regions of production so tree would be the sink And six would be the source, the region of production. And there, hence you have the flower, and then ta-da. So the answer would be B. B. Next question. What are the main vessels carrying blood to and from the kidney? The kidney. So you be the renal renal, so can't be A, can't be B. The answer will be C. Renal artery carries blood from the heart to the kidney. The answer for question 19 would be C. Next question. The photomicrograph shows human blood. Which blood component makes antibodies? You don't know that this is white blood cell. And it's lymphocyte that produce antibodies, so we are looking for lymphocytes. Can be B, can be D. The answer will be C. This is the lymphocyte. A is your phagocyte. 
you can see this loop. All this one is kind of like circular. 